all have that innate questions of who we are and what are we here for. Uh, I think creativity, whatever it is, music, dancing or writing, is that discovery tool to find ourselves. To me, the term creative economy sounds like a new term for something older. The old practice of commercialization of cultural activities and products. Creativity is the future for our societies because a lot of the cities uh, in contemporary societies are going through the transition from industry-based economy towards a new form of service-based economy. So creativity is really the core of that new kinds of urban economy. The creative economy can provide an opportunity for Indonesia and Indonesians to take the best of what's available in a global market of ideas and adapt it to the local context. Indonesia is a quite interesting case. Uh, it's a developing country, still catching up with the rest of the world with their creative economy development. For more than half a century, the word culture was a dirty word because there's a lot of essentialization and exoticization of traditional culture where popular culture was dismissed with contempt. Slogans of the day were modernity, development, democracy, globalizations. Now those old conviction are in decline. I think they realized something went wrong. Now we have soft power, cultural industry, creative economies as a way of trying to make advance. Often it's artists and creative people that are reinterpreting the new environment in which people need to operate. Indonesia's government has funded quite a lot of initiatives in creative economy. If the government can see this as the real treasure that puts Indonesia in a unique position, and it's not just physical economy, but the cultural economy, we can really thrive on it because we are basically very overwhelmed with so many different cultures from all around the, the region. What we need are more stories of people-to-people -people connections at the middle-level groups. This is where creative economies have been thriving. There's always going to be a challenge between what is Indonesia as a local identity that generated very much from tradition, culture, a way of life in Indonesia. And with the new creative economy focus on digital technology, new information systems, that kind of old traditional way of life might be replaced in part. Monash has always had an interest in Indonesia from the very beginning. People like John Legg, Herb Feith, Jamie Mackey, because there's fundamentally there's a belief, I think, amongst Indonesianists and amongst universities across Australia that a strong and a vibrant Indonesia is good for Australia's interests. It's good for Monash's interests. We have very tight links in terms of students coming to study here, but also in terms of our researchers going to work in Indonesia. In Australia, the Herb Feith Professorship is the only named professorship with an endowment fund exclusively dedicated to the study of Indonesia. Inspired by the life and work of her field, I am particularly keen on supporting people-to-people -people connections, which are driven by pure curiosity, common moral concerns, or social solidarity, instead of short-term and material gains. I look forward to strengthening relationships of Australians and Indonesians, ordinary people, in everyday life, in popular culture. As a key partner, key player in the educational market, Monash has a strong identity overseas and will be critical in strengthening our relationship with Indonesia, both culturally and in terms of educational trade, and also sustain that kind of culture exchange with Indonesia. So the Herb Fee Centre was really set up to establish and to, to channel engagement between Monash and Indonesia. I'm just happy that to know that we now have a community that can be you know a basis for us Indonesians to come over and share more about our experience about our culture. I cannot think of a better way for young students to explore the world outside their homeland than immersing themselves in a foreign land. Cultivate yourself a skill of critical thinking 
because in whatever field that you are in, especially in creative industry, critical thinking is a perfect tool so you can advance yourself, you can move forward. So stay curious, always be a hungry learner and cultivate your skill for critical thinking.